What's going on guys? Today I'm finishing off my second project on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon 3D printer. It's called the Rat Catcher Droid from the Book of Boba Fett. And in fact, this has been a year in the making because I originally started this on the Anycubic Cobra range, but we've now finished it off on the Bamboo Labs. And I'm going to tell you why. Let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. This is the LEP service droid, also known as the Rat Catcher. It was featured in the Star Wars spin-off The Book of Boba Fett, with a combination of CGI and practical effects. In the show, the rabbit-like droid is shown working hard before being chased down and ultimately deactivating itself to avoid the situation. A few weeks ago, I attended a droid builders event and had the chance to catch up with Dave from Droid Division. Dave is an incredibly talented designer who has created a variety of Star Wars themed CAD files over on Etsy. Dave has recreated not only the droid featured in this video, but also pit droids, battle droids, K2SO, and the large and very impressive Imperial Probe droid. Despite his impressive work, Dave is a very modest person. I had the opportunity to interview him a couple of years ago, but unfortunately the files do seem to be corrupted. But I do hope to speak to you again soon, Dave. So over on Etsy, you can purchase and download the 3D printing files. There are a number of support groups on Facebook with like-minded makers who are happy to help and support you on your build. The links, as always, will be in the description below. One of the standout elements on this droid are the lit eyes and how it gives emotion and in fact that might be a job for pcbway.com which incidentally is my sponsor for today you may have heard of pcbway.com before they are the leading manufacturer of pcb prototyping so for this kind of project i might see if i can come up with a design that sits just behind the eyes in this little robot if you are looking for your own design or make check them out at pcbway.com cheers Let's get back onto this droid. While looking for reference material for this video, I do believe that the Mandalorian display has the puppet used in the filming sequences. It would seem odd to go to all that effort to install servos and arm rigs just for a display. Both TV shows, of course, would have been shot around the same time, so I would expect for them to repurpose and rebuild. Now, this image is really interesting as you can clearly see the puppeteering rods and the internal workings for the radio controlled equipment. So certainly from a design and print point of view, Dave and Droid Division have done a sterling job at making this droid as lifelike and as as film accurate as it possibly could be. So when attending the Droid Builders event, I was reminded of this project that I had started and, well, never completed. As I was showcasing the Bamboo Labs printer at the event, I was excited to try out the speed and precision of the printing capabilities of the Bamboo Labs 3D printer. So I figured I'd hit full send. One of the great benefits of the Bamboo Labs range is the ability to print quickly and accurately. Another interesting feature is the ability to load multiple build plates which allows me to see the full scope of the project and estimate the time that it would take for me to complete. On some of the time lapses, you might notice that I've printed individual objects. This is usually because those parts might suffer from print head movement, which makes the print quality suffer, and the software on the Bamboo Labs printer works really well for this. Even when trying to avoid PETG stringing, overall, it has been a great experience using this printer, and the time lapse feature is also a nice bonus for editing stuff like this. So I just wanted to show you this picture again. This is the Bamboo Lab screenshot of all the build plates that I've used to uh, create this print. Again, one of the benefits to this is that you can send this remotely so if you've got a clean build plate you could still go to work and you can hit the button slice and send and when you get back home it'd be beautifully printed so just for reference again on the left hand side these are the droid division rat catchers and on the right again more droid division uh, pit droids so you can definitely download these from his etsy store again the links are in the description below so on to finishing and painting now. Now, what I like to use is the Motep spray putty. I came across this stuff a few years ago. Unfortunately, the cat is now out of the bag, so it has driven the price up. This was about two or three pounds um, originally, but you can get these on eBay. You can get these on um, various stores in the UK. I believe you can get it in Europe as well. The US, unfortunately, you can't get hold of any of this stuff because they just don't do it and they won't supply it out there. But the way I use this is basically I layer it up with a few coats. I have to leave it for a couple of days just to make sure everything dries. And then I use graffiti paint. By using the spray putty and gently sanding it, it removes any layer lines from the print. You can, of course, use Bondo or P38. The undercoat of silver, red, and then a top coat of white will allow me later to sand back the paint, leaving the droid with the appearance of damage. I then leave this to dry for a few days before taking a piece of sandpaper to the droid and giving the effect of battle damage and abuse. I then wipe down the entire model and airbrush the scorch marks and outline this into the paint. I also use a paintbrush to remove the black and gently highlight the print features. While there's no real tips to this, I would suggest that you just take your time and make sure you've got a wet wipe handy just to remove any of the paint if it goes a little bit over the top. So how did it all turn out?
So overall, I have enjoyed putting this droid together and painting it over the past week or so, I guess it's been now. Um, thank you very much to Dave from Droid Division for uh, supplying me with this file and obviously allowing me to kind of do this kind of content. This is the second model that I've built on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. Of course, the other video for that is the R2-D2 that I printed with the full color AMS. This has been awesome. This is printed also in any cubic PLA. So uh, make sure you uh, check out those guys and check out their filament. And thank you very much again to any cubic, to PCB way, to droid division. And for you guys for watching, if you have enjoyed this video and if it's helped you out, if it's pointed you in a certain direction or it's made you maybe decide that maybe the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon is for you, hit that subscribe button, chuck us a little like and leave the comments down below. We will see you next time for the next big build. See you soon. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.